But you think Democrats are basically going to say that uh, that the banks are too big and, the, you know, that, they're, that we haven't done anything. But your point is that, yeah, they are too big because Dodd-Frank made them too big. Right. I mean, 10 years ago, we had the same crew of executives. There were different executives, but same sort of representational uh, set of banks testifying before the committee in the midst of the financial crisis. Ten years later, what's going on? What's the nature of this hearing today? What is the legislative purpose? I think that's a head scratcher. Uh, markets are, uh, our markets are strong. Our institutions are strong. We've got headwinds globally. Uh, the IMF report of reducing global growth is problematic. The question of Brexit, the issues of Chinese debt, these things are significant. But the real significant question today is the nature of Dodd-Frank. These institutions are bigger because Dodd-Frank required them to be bigger. Uh, and we have fewer uh, banks now than we did pre-crisis. That is driven largely by regulation. So it's a result of their policies they put in place, the Democrat uh, Party agenda, uh, that is the full culmination of this hearing today, by which they're going to beat these companies up for compl complying with the law that the Democrat Party got through the House and the Senate and signed by a Democrat president. So you're, you want, your interest is in, ins is in ensuring greater competition in consumer choice. Is that antithetical to a lot of the things that you figure they, that you're opposing? Uh, uh, viewpoints that you're going to hear. It's kind of the opposite of what we'll get, isn't it? Well, quite frankly, I mean, we have a debate about our free markets and the nature of our markets right now. Yeah, that is do. the fundamental debate in politics. Everything else is obscured with sort of the circus atmosphere of, of yelling or tweets or whatever it may be. But the fundamental debate is about the nature of our markets. And I believe in free markets. I believe competition works. And I think consumers benefit from that. Congressman, um, you've been tough, though, I think it's, it's fair to say on Tim Sloan. Uh, I remember uh, some of the hearings yes. in, in a very similar way to the way Maxine Waters approached him. Well, in, in that hearing, you have uh, the uh, one of the, the large financial institutions, the highest head count of American employees, uh, that has been fined by every single one of their regulators over the last two years, is still not complying with the very things they said they con would comply with. And you've now gone through two executives in two and a half years. I think the nature of that hearing was fundamentally different than bringing these seven, uh, these seven GSIBs in right. front of our committee today. Congressman, fundamentally different. Congressman, um, Warren Buffett was quoted over the weekend in the Financial Times suggesting that the next CEO of Wells Fargo should not be somebody historically from Wall Street, from a Goldman Sachs or J.P. Morgan, but from somewhere else. And the rationalization that he provided for that was effectively that the constituency, uh, in this case, may be Washington. Do you think that's the right decision? And if so, who would you recommend? What kind of person? No, I think it's for the board of directors to decide who is best going to lead their institution, uh, return value to their shareholders, and do right by their institution. It should not be me as a politician or an elected official, even, in, uh, even with the... Uh, position I have on the Financial Services Committee to make a decision like that or to be directive of that. Uh, Warren Buffett is a major shareholder of Wells Fargo. He has a very different position in, in the nature of what they should be doing. I think uh, returning value to the shareholders is a fundamental issue. Doing right by their consumers and growing their platform is a fundamental issue. So you like the cameras? I mean, will, do you predict there will be sound bites that we're running tomorrow, Congressman? Are you going to be? Uh, are you going to be there tomorrow, Joe? Yes. Then there will be. There will there be will blood. There will be sound bites. There will be blood. There will now, be movie. Uh, is it think, more Survivor or more The Bachelor or what kind of reality? It, I don't know whether the cameras help because you know how. What is it that, that, that happens to these people when when the cameras well, start rolling? So you have seven banks, three different business models, really. Uh, I I just wonder how many questions custodial banks will get, right? Because they they have a very important role in the financial uh, system, financial ecosystem. Uh, I, I don't know if there's going to be a great deal of direction uh, given to them. The questions I care about, though, are about regulation, about complying with the law, and global systemic risk, which is the hearing we should be having right now, not about this sort of circus.